Hey everybody, last week I gave a talk at the Dutch Laravel Foundation talking about new features in Inertia 2. So I've used this demo application to talk about things like deferred props, merging props, the when visible component, infinite scrolling and also pulling. And I want to use this demo application again today to showcase you client-side visits, which is a new thing in Inertia 2 and it's maybe a bit overlooked but it's really cool and really powerful. So let's dive into the code and see what it can do. Let's go to the dashboard controller, let's scroll to the top and here in the constructor you can see that I'm injecting some services and then here I'm rendering the dashboard itself, the dashboard component or the page and I'm passing these props, the revenue stats and instead of two array let's dump it out so you can see what it is and it's just an array with some dummy data, nothing fancy. So let's refer it back and go to the dashboard. So here I'm accepting the props, revenue stats as an object, and then I'm passing it to this revenue stats component. And say we want to reload this data every three or every five or every 10 seconds, then we can use polling. So in Inertia 1, you had to do this manually with the router, but now we have a use poll method. So we could do use poll, give it three seconds, and then give it some visit options. So in this case, we only want to reload the revenue stats. Let's save it and refresh. And then you can see after three seconds that the revenue goes a little bit up. So this works really nice. Uh, another thing that you can do is add some indicator that we are refreshing. So what I'm gonna do is add a new ref, is refreshing stats. Let's set it to false by default. And then on before, before we're making the request, um, let's set is refreshing stats to true. And let's duplicate this line. On finish, we set it back to false. And then I'm gonna pass this ref as a prop to this component. So this component accepts a loading prop. I'm gonna set it to is refreshing stats. Let's go back, let's refresh and let's see what happens. So after three seconds, you can see a nice little indicator that we're actually refreshing. Now polling is really inefficient. It might be fine for like, if this application is used by two users, but that's mostly how it starts. And then you end up with a thousand users or a million users. And suddenly your page is making a million requests every three seconds. So you definitely don't wanna do this um, for such a big app. So instead of polling, I'm gonna use Laravel's event system and its broadcasting system. So on the broadcasting side, we now have Laravel Echo on the front end to connect to a WebSocket server. And we have Laravel Reverb on the back end, which is a pusher alternative. It's a first party library um, and you can host it on your own server. It's really efficient, really cheap. So let's go with that. I've actually already installed Laravel Echo and Reverb because I don't want to bore you with that. Uh, you can find that in the documentation. So what I'm gonna do first is create an event. Let's go to the terminal and let's do make event order was paid because that's when the revenue goes up. So in that event, we're gonna implement the shoot broadcast, broadcast interface. And then instead of broadcasting it on a private channel, I'm gonna use a public channel and let's call that one dashboard. Let's import it. Yes, and then in the dashboard component, I've got this Laravel echo object, so window.echo. And here we're gonna subscribe to the dashboard channel and we're gonna listen for that new order was paid event. And first, Let's do an alert to see that this works. Let's hit save. I've already started a reverb server in here. So let's refresh the page and open the inspector in network. Let's do that once more. I think this is the WebSocket server. Yeah, here you can see that we've subscribed to the dashboard channel. So this works. Let's go to the terminal again and make it a little bit smaller. Let's go into Tinker, Artisan Tinker, and let's dispatch an event. So event, new app events, 
order was paid. And let's hit enter. And here you can see the event coming in and here's the alert. So that works. Um, let's continue. Instead of an alert, of course, we want to refresh the data. So we can use the inertia router for that. Inertia router reload. And then we're just going to copy these visit options. So we only want to reload the revenue stats. And let's comment this out. Let's refresh and see if it works. I'm going to close the network inspector. And let's do another event. And sure enough, this works. So now when an order was paid, we are refreshing everybody's dashboard. But of course, this doesn't really solve the problem. Because if a million users have this dashboard opened and an order was paid, then it's still going to perform a million backend requests. So if we open a network inspector once again and hit reload, then you can see that here we have our WebSockets connection. But when this event's coming in, we're still performing a backend request. So to solve this, we can actually pass some data with that event. So besides the broadcast on method, there's also a broadcast with method, which also returns an array. So in here, I'm just going to use that revenue stats service. Um, let's import it. And then to array. And let's do that again. So let's go to Firefox. Let's open the uh, WebSockets connection. And now first I should refresh Tinker. I always forget that. Let's di dispatch an event. And now you can see that we have an event coming in with the actual data. So let's go back to the dashboard component. What we want to do here is when this event's coming in, we, we just want to update this object. And this was not really possible in Inertia 1. So previously you would do something like uh, initial revenue stats and then maybe make revenue stats a prop and do something like props dot initial revenue stats and update that ref. That's all not needed anymore. So we can just refer this to revenue stats and then we're going to use a client side visit. And you can also find that in inertia documentation. So here it says client side visits. Uh, you can use the router replace method to make a client side visit. This method is useful when you want to update the browser's history without making a server request. So you can update all of these props, these page props, without making an actual backend request. And that's what we need. So let's go back in here. Instead of doing router reload, we're gonna do router replace. And we only want to replace the props. So this is gonna be a callback function, which is gonna pass the current props. And then we want to return a new object. Let's use the spread operator to uh, reuse all the current props. But then we want to override the revenue stats with our new data. And the data from the event, so what you're returning here with this broadcast with function, that data is coming here in this listen callback. So we're listening for the order was paid event. And this is the data coming in. So we're going to replace the revenue stats prop with our new data. And then we can remove all of this stuff. Let's hit save and let's see if it works. Let's go back to our demo application and inspect the WebSockets connection. Let's go back to the terminal and dispatch an event. And now you can see that the revenue was updated without making any backend requests. So even if, you're, if your app has like a million active users, and the revenue gets updated, then nobody's going to make a backend request for that. All of that stuff is now handled by Laravel Echo and Laravel Refurb, and that's scaling really well. So that's actually what I wanted to show you. Um, definitely check out the documentation on this, because you can do much more. You can also replace like the URL or some other settings. Um, yeah, that's it. See you next time.